Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with Kristen Van Dyke, and we have a big storm coming in. Kristen. That's right, already impacting the state, and it will stick with us as we head through early Wednesday. Right now, mainly rain in the valley locations, too warm for snow there, but we are seeing snow in the northern mountains and the higher terrain across the western part of the state, and even in the Gila area. Cold front's going to be moving in out of the northeast. That's going to bring in drastically colder temperatures uh, this evening and overnight tonight, so we'll see more snow over in the northeast and the east central parts of the state. That's where it's going to be the heaviest, I think, in the east slopes along the Sangre de Cristo Mountains for tonight. Before the metro, not out of the question. We could pick up a couple of inches of snow tonight. Then we won't be done with the system yet. Make it a little break early tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, looking at more scattered snow continuing through tomorrow night and into early Wednesday. And temperatures are going to drop big time. Highs near 30 on Tuesday, down to 7 Tuesday night. Then highs near 20 degrees on Wednesday. We may not even make it out of the teens and below zero as we head toward Thursday. Then drier and getting a little bit better as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Albuquerque police are trying to find the person who shot a woman in the head and then left her in a hotel room. Officers found 22-year-old Brandy Kent yesterday morning in a third-floor room at the Quality Suites at Gibson and University. They say she was alone in that room, no evidence to suggest she shot herself. One woman was being questioned by police, but they're not saying if she is a suspect. Detectives are looking for a white Cadillac that was seen leaving the parking lot just minutes after the shooting. They're waiting on records to see who registered and paid for the room. Kent is on life support at University Hospital. Albuquerque police were sent on a wild goose chase last night. Police thought they were looking for a carjacker with a seven-year-old child in the back seat. Turns out there was a carjacking, but no child. Police say the unnamed victim told them there was a child because there was a TV in the car and he wanted prompt action. The victim's been arrested. The carjacking suspect still on the loose. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day.